Huntsbrook Incorporated provides a family of applications known as Little Apps. Little Apps are single file programs that are not installed but simply copied. The Shoebox app is a Little App that creates a vector format of any size finger joint box. Before we start, we need to cut out a square to measure the beam diameter. The next thing we do is we measure the square on the outside and then we measure the hole on the inside. The difference of those two divided by two is the beam diameter. I'm going to introduce uh, the little app shoe box. Assume we've unzipped it and copied it to uh, this particular directory uh, box app. We're going to click it for the very first time. What it's done is it's brought up the license agreement. You can decline and that's the end of the discussion, but if you accept, it'll store that and it won't ask you again. Uh, up here on the menu, we have file where we can create a new project, open a, an existing one, save an, uh, one we're working on or save as, maybe a, a different name and uh, folder location, close and exit. Under edit, we uh, have the box controls and we can also change our input units. Uh, the input units don't affect how it outputs the files, but if you like working in inches versus millimeters, this is where you can switch it and you can switch it at any time. Uh, view display basically controls which uh, components of the uh, box you're going to look at. And under help we have an about, which tells you what version you're on, the latest update. And we also have some uh, introductory help and uh, discussion of where the files are located. And under license, we have a plain English version and a legal speak version. Okay, uh, we're going to uh, create a project for a paint box we've made. And we'll start with file, new. And we already are at a directory, but we, we really like to have it in its own directory. So I'm going to create a new folder and call it Paintbox. And I'll call the project Paintbox as well. Now, when it creates it, it asks me what kind of units I want to use. I'll, I'll use English units, but I could enter in millimeters. This doesn't affect how the outputs uh, operate in terms of all of the files and the output are in millimeters. So they're standard for your laser cutter or, or uh, Photoshop. The next thing I'll ask you is the uh, parameter values. We're not really going to work with that yet. Let's, let's do an overview. We'll come back to that. Uh, let's look at what's been just generated here, the default values. Uh, this is the lid top, uh, the lid left and right side. It only produces one, so when you actually produce this, you'll need to copy it. The lid front and back, and then the base bottom, base left and right, base front and back, and then a couple art templates, one for the lid and one for the base. This will help you if you uh, bring this into Photoshop, it'll help you lay out uh, the art on to say a covering for your box. Or if you bring it into a laser cutter uh, interface, uh, you can lay out engravings and get the spacing right. And, uh, all right, let's talk about the file structure that Little App creates. Uh, one file you'll see here is the license accept decline. It just keeps a flag on whether you accept it or decline the license. Uh, in here, we created a folder where we store uh, the files uh, and the folders of data that uh, Little App creates. Uh, you can see the project ends with a .la1 for Little App 1. Uh, this is called Paintbox, so it creates three folders starting with Paintbox. Uh, PLT data, you have a uh, PLT is HPGL format. Uh, it's used by some of the laser cutters. Uh, mine in particular is a Boss laser. And it's in millimeters, and it's been scaled as such. So this is what you'd import into your uh, laser interface software or your laser layout software that you have. Uh, if you do use other vector data, we have SVG data for all those same uh, components. 
Um, so we don't use this that much, but other people have uh, requested this type of vector data. All these data uh, types are uh, ASCII, so you can actually open them in Notepad and look at them. Something else we've provided is the art data folder. In here, a one file is a text file. Let me open this up, open it up with Notepad. Uh, it tells you all the parameters you use, but it also tells you things like the inside and outside uh, dimensions of, say, the base, or the outside dimensions of the lid, and also it talks about any uh, uh, finger height parameters or slot diameters. Uh, it also gives you the laser uh, parameters you're using. So if your laser changes, you can tell that. If you want to print this file out and go estimate costs for the material, uh, we give you the area of the different sections. Uh, this is lid area includes the sides as well as the lid and same with the base. And we give it to you in inches as well. Uh, these are in square meters, by the way, and then these, of course, are in square inches. Uh, the other files are designed to go into photo editors. Uh, unlike the uh, laser uh, files, uh, these don't compensate for the beam diameter. They're meant for layout, so you'd bring these into Photoshop or some analogous software, and it would help you lay out your engravings or your uh, uh, graphics so they're to scale and have the right aspect ratios. We're now going to open up a project. We've already entered the um, parameters for that. Uh, we're going to open our paint box. So you go File Open and select the uh, project you want to open. Also notice, before I go on, it, it created three folders. When you created this project, it made an SVG data folder, a PLT data folder, and an art data. In the art data, uh, it has PLT, SVG, and a text file containing uh, a lot of the parameters you might need for uh, design. So let's go ahead and open it. Now, what we've done here is we've set this up already to a box uh, we made, and this is a sample box. You can download the uh, uh, data and produce it yourself. Uh, if we go under box controls, uh, here are the controls. We're in units of inches here. Uh, if you enter values in these white spaces, you hit update to make sure those uh, values take hold. Uh, here we have the inside width, length, height, and the material thickness. We also need to have the beam diameter, and we've discussed that elsewhere, uh, to how to get the beam diameter of your laser. Uh, you adjust the beam diameter so the joints are snug. If you ever need to loosen them up, you can use the joint gap uh, to loosen those up. If you have questions about these things, by the way, you can open up these little question boxes, and you'll see there's some uh, help associated with each one. Now, the lid and finger function controls, uh, those are to help you open the box. The uh, uh, lid finger edge height, well, that's easily described by the help. You can click here to get the uh, 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 graphics of that. If you look at the box from the side, this is the height, say a quarter inch in our case, of the lid finger edge height. It's all the way around the lid when the box is completely closed, and you can just reach underneath and open it. If you choose to have finger slots, it puts these uh, hemicircles around all four sides of the lid. Uh, usually people go for the uh, uh, just the edge height, and we won't select the finger slots. Over here, we control the uh, number of fingers uh, per side. Uh, so if you look up here on this lid top, this is three fingers. In this case, it's these. And you can see how if I made it four or five or six, it changes it automatically. We'll put it back to three, so that's where we want it. Tab width is this width down here, and you can see that in the help graphic. Uh, it's the tab width plus the thickness of the box is how 
wide these tabs are. Uh, those are what if you're, you use to glue uh, around the edge of the litter base if you do a, a glue on uh, graphics for your, your box. Uh, we also have uh, output parameters and these are also stored in a file that you can access and we included uh, area so you could estimate costs and that sort of thing. If we did want to, uh, so we update that, if we did want to uh, uh, change units we could, so you can just change the millimeters and you'll see here when you go to your box controls, uh, now they're all in millimeters and you can just work in that. We'll now show you how to use the display mode in uh, the shoebox application. Let's say we open our uh, paint box project and you see basically the lid top, uh, left, right, etc. cetera. Uh, what we want to do is control them individually. So let's say we just wanted to view the lid. You can turn off all of these and just view the lid. And you can display or not display the labels. So there you see it's off, now it's on. You can also uh, make the lines thinner or lighter. This is the lightest setting of zero. You can make them really dark if you want. Usually one works pretty good. So if I wanted to see here uh, the lid and one of the front back panels, uh, you can see they're to scale, and everything is to scale to each other here. Now, if you don't view this lid, watch what happens. Now, you see the whole screen taken up. So that's a handy little feature to get in close and see things. Uh, some oddities you'll see is these little uh, slices here where they join. Uh, when you laser cut this, it will cut this little slice, but functionally it doesn't affect the uh, piece. Another option in the little app is the help menu. Uh, we've discussed the about. It just tells you what uh, version you got and when it was last updated. Uh, getting started is a list of things that should step you through everything you need to uh, get started with uh, the little app. Uh, file locations. It'll help uh, get you used to wherever the files are. And so if you, you're wondering where everything's put, this is the thing to look at. Under license, uh, we have a plain English version and a legal version. Uh, the plain English version basically tells you our, the spirit of uh, the licensing agreement. Basically, our approach is you buy this app, you own it. Uh, you can copy it as much as you want. You can. What I do is I actually store it, usually with specific data. So if a laser cutter changes in the future, you can rerun that data. Uh, you can't sell it, share it, uh, reverse engineer it, that sort of thing. And uh, if you have it on different computers, that's fine. Uh, if you have a lot of people in your company using this, we'd really appreciate you buy licenses for each one of those people. And of course, everything I say is superseded by the legal speak version of the license. Uh, but what we really are proud of is that we're giving you something that's a single file. You don't have to install it. You don't have to ask us permission to uh, put it on another computer. Uh, you own it. And then you make sure you hit accept or it'll reinitiate the uh, licensing uh, acceptance process.